Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hope you are doing good. I am here with another interesting concept in Seesaw. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. So today's topic is extension method in Seesaw. Here I am going to focus on four main important concepts. First of all, I will talk about what is the extension method and why it is needed. Second, we will look at how we can create an extension method. Then we will see how to use it efficiently. And finally, we will see the advantages associated with the extension method. Extension method in Seesaw. What is extension method? Extension method helps us to add methods to existing type without creating a new derived type or modifying the original type. What does it mean is, let's suppose we have one existing class and we have couple of methods defined into it and we don't want to inherit or change the class but we are interested to add a method into the existing class. That's possible by creating an extension method for that existing class. Extension method concept was introduced in C sub 3.0. How to create an extension method? In order to create an extension method, we need to declare it as a static method in a static class and the first parameter of the extension method must be the keyword this. For example, let's suppose we have a class my extension which is a static class. In this static class, we have a static method each valid email address and this modifier is applied to the first parameter of this method. So this is how we define an extension method. So basically what this method is doing, it is accepting an email address, performing some validation using the regex and then it is returning the value true or false as a boolean value to the calling method. So one thing to notice over here is this, this keyword, this keyword is applied on the first parameter. So what does it mean is, it says this is invalid, is valid email address is going to be added in the string class as an extension method. So this, this is very important and this is, we need to understand on which method, I mean on which class we are going to add this method as an extension method. So we need to make sure that we understand these things clear way otherwise it will be having confusion right so let's move on to the next topic how to use this extension method okay so we have seen how to create an extension method here we will focus on how to use an extension method the first statement using my extension is basically importing this my extension class over here. So in next statement a string str email is equal to first name dot last name at the rate gmail dot com. Here this str email variable is having this email id. In f statement we are calling is valid email address. So basically this is the way how we are going to call extension method. For calling this extension method we need to write this a string variable str email where this email id is a store str email dot is valid email address because this is valid email address is a part of str email class itself because we have defined this method as an extension method and this is the way how we are going to call this extension method okay so based on the result if value is returning as true value then this statement will get get executed if we are going to receive false value then this statement will get printed on the console okay so we have seen how to create an extension method and how to use an extension method we will see these things in action in visual studio okay so this is the visual studio so left right side if you notice this is extension method demo this is a project this project is nothing but a console application this console application is a having a is having class program.cs in program.cs we have defined this my extension a static class we have this is valid email address as an static method 
and we have defined this method as an extension method with the this modifier so this modifier basically tells that we have this is valid email address is going to get attached with this class string str email okay so this method will receive input and then processing that input i mean input in the sense over here is the email id okay so it will verify whether that email id is valid or not if it is valid then it, it will return true value if it is not valid then it will return the false value and in main class program program main class here we are having this main method in main method which is an entry point of this application here we are just printing demonstration of extension method as a part of example one and here str email dot is valid email address we are calling this extension method based on result based on return data as a true or false value it will be decided whether it is going to get printed is valid email address or is not a valid email address okay and this is the console dot read line so that we can able to read those things in console window okay so now i'm just going to execute this program by clicking this start button okay so it is executing now the output appears in this console window so this is the demonstration of extension method as a part of example one and this statement got printed first name dot last name at the rate gmail.com is a valid email address so, yes now we will see another example as a part of the second example i have created program underscore do dot cs file here we have defined one seal class my class in which we have two methods method one and method two it is just printing the statement method one prints a statement this is a method one method two prints this is a statement this is a method two okay so next we have a static class my extension class in which we have defined two extension method method three and method four this method three and method four we have defined extension method for this my class that's what we are attaching using this this cube right so if you notice this method for is having extra parameter a string str so we are going to receive this str i mean that input str so we are just printing this is an extension method for that accepts another parameter a string whose value is whatever the input that we are going to receive in this method it will get printed okay so now just move to the main program so this is the main program program underscore two where we are having this main method in main method we are just writing that we are going to demonstrate of extension method example two okay so here what we are doing we are going to create one instance of this my class instance creation is done then we can call method one two three four right if you see my class method one my class method two because these method one and method two is defined under the sealed class but this method three method four now it appears it is a actual method of this my class because we have defined method three and method four as an extension method for this my class right so we can call my class dot method three my class dot method four and in method four because we are passing extra parameter over here okay so we have written this sum string so that sum string will go and in this method four we will be receiving that value and whatever the value we are going to receive we are going to concatenate with this statement and we will be writing those things in the console window okay let's suppose let's let's go and you know execute this program now it's building so once console window gets appeared we will be seeing it output okay, so build is started build is started project extension method demo okay so if you see 
that it is processing okay so if you see this result appeared into this console window demonstration of extension method example 2 this is a method 1 this is a method 2 this is an extension method 3 for my class this is an extension method that accepts another parameter string value whose value is sum string right so if you if you see the value that we have passed sum string it it went and you know got concatenated with this statement and appeared in this console window so we have seen how to use extension method extensively now we will look into that what are the advantages we are having okay here we will see what are the advantages of the extension okay, number one advantage is it enables us to add new methods in the existing class without using inheritance so if you don't want to use inheritance extension method is the best choice to use it new methods can be added in the existing class without modifying the source code of the existing let's suppose there is a scenario where we don't have the source code of the existing class in our head okay and we are interested to add new method into it we can add it using the extension method so that is the advantage final point is extension method also works with the sealed class yes so sealed class as we know we cannot inherit that right so if you want to add new method into it we can add it using the extension method okay so these are the advantages so that brings me to end of my session in this session we looked at what extension method is how to create it how to use it in a program and also we demonstrated with example and at the last we have seen what are the advantages of the extension method okay let me know in comments if you want me to cover any other interesting topic and will do my best to cover those topics in upcoming video if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already